everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make French bread pizza. This recipe right here, it's bomb. It's so easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, you make it Jeannie Young style, gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my French bread pizza before. You better make yourself. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some nice French bread. So now what I was able to find at Kroger's is this bread here. It's not baked, it needs to be baked. So what you would do is find this in the cold section and it gives you instructions on how to bake it. Now, you can also go to maybe Walmart or your other markets and find a French bread that's already baked and you can use that as well. So both will do the job. You're gonna need some cheese and the cheese that we're gonna use, we're gonna use some whole milk mozzarella and you will need some pizza sauce, okay? And also, over this way, some pepperonis. You're gonna need any veggies you decide to use. If you wanna use mushrooms, green bell peppers, onions, absolutely. You're gonna need a little bit of Italian seasoning, parsley flakes and garlic powder. We're gonna use some salted butter, and that's about it. Now listen here, if you wanted to use some ground up sausage, possibilities are endless. Heck, if you wanted to do some ham and pineapples, you could. Have fun when you're making your pizzas at home. This recipe right here is definitely a recipe you're gonna to wanna to make at home with your kids and when you have a big, large crowd because everyone, they're gonna love these. And what you can do is you literally can cut them small or you can cut them big. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. I'm so excited to be able to share with you all how easy it is to make this recipe. Someone had requested this recipe when I did my live and I was so excited to make it because when I was younger, we used to get a frozen pizza and it was called tombstone pizza and it was made from the French bread and it always was delicious. You could put that bad boy in the oven, it would be melty and the bread, it gets nice and crispy but in the inside it's still a little bit soft, it's gorgeous. So now let's go ahead, cut into our veggies. That's if you want veggies. You can just do pepperoni and cheese if you want, you know. Here at the Young's house, we like to go all out with our pizza ingredients. So we're gonna chop up some of this bell pepper and also the onion. Okay, just like so. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tried to make something like this? Another fun way to make pizza is you could use uh, bagels. Absolutely, you could use a bagel or even an English muffin. Use an English muffin, put your pizza ingredients on top, throw that bad boy in the oven for a little bit, and voila, you have pizza for the whole family that everyone can enjoy. So now, that's all the green bell pepper I'm gonna need, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down a little bit smaller, and then we'll tackle that onion when I come back. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and tackle this angry onion. And I call the onion angry because it always makes me cry. All right, let's go. Chop that onion. If you wanted to, you can always, always saute up your veggies before you put it onto your pizza. But today, guess what? We're not doing that today. We're not doing all that. Okay, so I feel my eyes. <laughs> Guys, it never fails. I feel my eyes starting to form a waterfall. Give me a second, I'll be right back. My goodness. I feel kind of good today, kind of plain Jane today. I have no mascara on, my hair is pulled back and I'm feeling pretty good. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and cut into our French bread. Now what we're doing is we're using a serrated knife. When you use a serrated knife like this, it really helps you to not tear the bread up. You know, sometimes you can use a knife where you have to really saw through and it just messes everything up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna completely cut this straight down the middle. All right, just like so. This is around about the size of the tombstone pizzas that I would have when I was younger. I, what I'll have to do, I'll have to make Dakota some of the pizzas that I spoke about um, 
when I said you guys could use an English muffin. I, I just feel like he would go nuts over it. And what I would do with his is I would cook a little bit of Bob Evans breakfast sausage. Yes, and I would put the pepperoni and cheese and breakfast sausage. I think he would really like that. Okay, so now we got our pizzas or we have our dough. Okay, they're not even, but guess what? It's okay, relax. All right, so we're just gonna put them over here for the time being. And what I wanna do is share with you all how easy it is to make somewhat of a garlic butter sauce. This sauce we're gonna make today, it's gonna be easy. We're gonna take some butter, all right? We're gonna melt this butter, you know, throw it in the microwave till it gets hot and melty, you know. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the whole stick because later we're gonna make more pizzas and I'm gonna need that sauce. Now, I don't suggest using fresh garlic because I think it'll just be too strong. Put you some garlic powder on top of that butter. Put you some parsley flakes just to make everything nice and beautiful. You can put some Parmesan cheese in there if you want it to. Now we're gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning. We're gonna throw this in the microwave until it's nice and melty. And when I come back, I'll show you what you should do next with this butter sauce. Let's have some fun. Turn on your, preheat your oven at 350 degrees. We're gonna cook this until that cheese is hot and melty. And you will know when the dough is done because it'll be golden brown, but don't overcook it. Now, look at the butter. Oh, yes. Now, I used it salted butter. I used salted butter, so we're not gonna salt that. Here's what we're gonna do to our crust. Oh, listen here. We're gonna put some flavor down into that crust. And this bread is really just soaking up all that goodness just like so look at that yes here's what here's what i think about when i'm cooking anything you know something simple like this bump it up make it taste better how can you make it taste good that's what i think about before cooking anything now you know who doesn't love garlic and butter on bread uh, just about everybody does so you know this is going to be extra delicious dough all right, gorgeous. So now that we have that soaked in, the next thing that I wanna do is we're gonna to start to put some pizza sauce on. Now, if you all love, love, love pizza sauce, then you put you a nice amount on. If not, then, you know, it, that, that's the fun of making things at home. You can put as much as you want of any ingredient onto your food. Okay, I, I don't, me personally, I'm not a fan of too much pizza sauce on my pizza. So we're just gonna kinda, not too much, you know. Just like so, it only needs a little bit. Ooh, wee, look at that. So we're gonna do this last one, just like so. My oven is preheated. When I come back, I'll show you how I like to put my toppings on my French bread pizza. Yes, look at that. Now that we've sauced, off, uh, uh, sauced up <laughs> all of our French breads, let's go ahead and load on some of that whole milk mozzarella and look how thickly it's sliced i love these slices and i opened the pack i couldn't help myself but taste it it is delicious so if you all get a chance to taste this it's the sargento name brand taste it and let me know what you all think it is delicious so i'm loading on the cheese just like so in this manner and then we'll get started on our toppings let's see let's get this one open i'll be right back Time to put on the pepperoni. Now, listen, have fun. Like I said, load on that pepperoni. Don't you dare be shy with the cheese and the pepperoni. Look at that. And what I love, okay, so some people um, really don't know that they have turkey pepperoni, which is amazing for those uh, people that do not eat pork. So that option is out there for you. There is a turkey pepperoni and I've tasted it and it's delicious. It tastes just like this. So you could always use that. And you can also use um, the turkey, you know, smoked sausage or whatever type of sausage you wanted to use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one pepperoni and cheese and then we're gonna do two loaded, which is gonna have the bell peppers and onions. Let me know in the comment section below, what is one of your favorite, or how do you like your pizza made? Me personally, I love the pizza that has, um, okay, so what I like, I like the pepperoni, gotta have the sausage, and of course, you know, the cheese is gonna have 
onions and bell peppers and banana peppers and I also like the black olives. Woo! The black olives kind of set it off. That's my favorite pizza. And what we like to do, we ask for our pizza well done. Oh, and that way you don't have just cheese that's kind of like too gooey, you know? The cheese really sticks to it when you make it well done. So what we're doing here, I put the peppers and onions on the wrong one, but that's okay. I wanted to keep that one plain, but what we'll do, we'll pepper an onion this one, just like so, don't skimp on it, and we'll keep that just like so. Gorgeous, if you wanted to, take a little bit of Italian seasoning and sprinkle it on here. We are going in the oven, 350 degrees. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. In the oven we go, 350 degrees. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, French bread pizza, make you some. Ooh. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about your girl, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to our beautiful prayer. Let's go ahead and slice down into this baby. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can hear that crunch, but there's a crunch. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Let's see if I can let you see the crust. Look at that. Yes. Take a bite and let me know what you all think about this. Gina Young style French bread pizza, make you some. Take a bite, come on, I, I know. Okay, okay, we'll switch it up. I know you want the bigger one. Look at that. Yes, 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 one more. This one for you pepperoni lovers. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching, good night.